Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. All right, so this is going to be a part two to my Vatican versions video. And I just want to show people that these quote unquote Protestant Bibles, their Greek New Testament is translated by the Vatican through a Jesuit, Mr. Carlo Maria Martini. And just for proof, here he is with the Pope, smiling, loving it. And here he is dead with his Dagon fish hat. He died as a son of Rome. So remember this, people. That's the man that helped translate the Greek New Testament for these quote-unquote Protestant New Versions. So let's get into it. So first we'll start with the NIV. And... Here we see the translators have used the accepted Greek New Testament text as printed in the Nestle's, Nestle Alonde and the United Bible Society's Greek New Testament. So again, the Nestle Alonde 27th edition and all the other editions underlie the NIV. Next we'll look at the NASB. For the New Testament, the Nestle's Alonde 28th supplemented by the new textual criticism system that uses all the available Greek manuscripts known as the ECM-2. So again, the Greek New Testament that underlies, underlines the NASB, their recent edition, is the Nestle's Alon 28th, which is the same thing as 27th. I have both. But it's interesting because in the 28th edition, Carlo M. Martini is still mentioned, but the Vatican is conveniently taken out. How cute. So next we'll go to the Christian Standard Bible, which I believe used to be called the Holman Christian Standard Bible. And we see here the textual basis for the New Testament is the Nestle Alon Novum Testamentum Grace 28th edition and the United Bible Society's Greek New Testament 5th corrected edition. So again, the Jesuit and Roman Catholic translated Nestle's Alon. Next up, we have the ESV. And here we see the Greek New Testament in the 2014 editions. Wait. Yeah. Sorry about that. The, the ESV is based on the Masoretic text of the Hebrew Bible as found in the Biblia Hebraica Stuttgartensia and on the Greek text in the 2014 editions of the Greek New Testament published by the United Bible Societies and Novum Testamentum Grasse 28th edition. So again, the Roman Catholic Jesuit Greek text. And here we have the NLT. As we see here, uh, the New Testament translators use the two standard editions of the Greek New Testament, the Greek New Testament published by the United Bible Societies, and the Novum Testamentum Grasse, edited by Nestle and Land, the 27th edition. 27th edition, Carlo and Martini, the Vatican. And here we'll see the New King James. I really couldn't find, you know from Thomas Nelson what Greek text they use because of course they have to hide the fact that they actually mix the Textus Receptus with the which is the right line of manuscripts and the Alexandrian type Greek text which are the perverted line which is what the Nestle's Alonde is. The Nestle's Alonde is the Alexandrian type Greek text. So what the New King James does is they mix truth with lies. And as Galatians 5.9 says, a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. 
So that automatically voids the New King James as being the Word of God, but it does confirm it as more Roman Catholic junk. And I recently found this out as well, that I already knew the old um, Hebrew manuscripts that the new versions use were corrupt, but here's more proof in their preface. I believe this is preface, but this is the Pro Lego, Pre Lego Mina. And look at what it says here. It is a welcome sign of the times that it was published jointly in 1971 by the Wittenberg Bible Society, Stuttgart, and the Pontifical Biblical Institute, Rome. So in other words, the Roman Catholic Church. And we see right here on the Vatican, here's their you know, papal insig insignias, that... This is official, the authority files, the BHS, or the Biblia Hebraica Stuttgartensia. So again, people, especially Christians, is it comely for us to have our Bibles translated by this man? Oh, and that too, I want to show that in the Nestle's 28th edition. This is the 28th edition of the Novum Testamentum Grasse, 28th edition, and edited by Carlo M. Martini. So again, is it comely to have a Jesuit? And if you don't know who the Jesuits are, I'm going to post a photo at the end of this video so you can read some of the things that this man and other Jesuits are sworn to uphold and believe. And I can tell you for a fact that what they are sworn to uphold and believe these, this man and the rest of his fellow Jesuits, they care nothing about the scriptures. They care nothing about the scriptures. And they care nothing about God. And again, this man died a Roman Catholic.